try this lower denture trick that I'm going to show you in a minute. Any scratching that you've been hearing is this. The comparison is just... So let me clear another thing up that we have happening. Your lower denture, it's hard to keep in. I know a lot of you have heard that, a lot of you are going through that. So let's talk about that. And then we're gonna talk about a few other things in this video also, and I'm gonna give you an apology because there's some things I just didn't know. First of all, let's talk about this. Skin cancer, more. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I keep getting it removed. It, it's just a thing in my life right now we're going through. So there's stitches and you don't need to see all that. So anyway, a few months ago I did a video on your lower denture and how to get the flanges longer so it would fit better. Some of you that don't have a lower ridge are having trouble with your denture sliding all over the place and it won't stay in. A lot of you, probably 90% of you that have tried this and got back to me, it helped and you can eat again. Um, there, you can go read the comments under that video and you'll see, see, you'll see. So, and the other 10% of you really didn't like it. It didn't help and, and you just didn't like it. So I'm going to talk about that putty. Well, let's talk about that putty right now. I was not aware that what we were using in that video was just plain impression putty. I didn't know that and I'm very, very sorry because I found more impression putty that we can buy much, much cheaper. This is the impression putty that I used in the video. This is the gum guard impression putty and I did some research since finding out that this is just impression putty. I was under the understanding that at the time there, there is a patent on the gum guard, but not on this putty. It's just plain impression putty. So we're going to also talk about the gum guard too. So stay tuned for this. This impression putty you can buy on gum guards website. They sell impression putty by the gram. They're selling this for 78 cents a gram for putty. And you can buy all of this for $25 plus shipping and tax and everything else. And I know a lot of you said, oh my gosh, the shipping costs more than the the actual putty did and, and there were just problems purchasing this putty. I did not know we could purchase this cheaper. I did not know, I apologize, didn't know this was impression putty. So I found this that you can buy on the Amazon comparison. They're selling this for 18 cents a gram and you can purchase 112, I'm looking at my notes, you can purchase 112 grams of this putty for $19.99 on Amazon. I'm going to link this below. It's in my Amazon store. I am an Amazon affiliate. I'll make about 4% off every sale of this putty if you want to try it. This, you can purchase 32 grams of putty for $25 plus shipping in tax. The comparison is just, it is what it is. I'm going to put a picture in right here the size comparison but you can actually see the pink putty size difference look at this I apologize I did not know this was regular impression putty that I was using to make this work I, I didn't know that at the time so for 20 bucks and all this putty that you can get if you want to try this lower denture trick that I'm going to show you in a minute give it a try because if it works for you some people can eat again i've had people tell me that oh my gosh i can eat pizza 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 i can eat pizza again you know so yeah i apologize for that okay so let me clear another thing up that we have happening people are seeing that my gum guard videos are gone also people are saying calling this gum guard this putty this Putty is not gum guard. That is not what gum guard is. This is not gum guard. This is just impression putty. This is the gum guard right here. This is a mouthpiece that you can wear if you have all your teeth pulled out, you know, dentures, in place of your dentures. I cut ties with this company. I can't wear these anymore. They slide around, they move, that I can't get them to fit. And I shared that on my Facebook group and I'm getting more people commenting that they don't fit them either or they had a hard time or they had a hard time with the owner. 
that's all shared on my Facebook group if you want to go that route but I can't personally wear these anymore they're hard for me to fit now I'm way past my extractions and I just don't like these and I know how some of you have been treated by the company and I have other personal reasons why I cut ties with this company. If you want to go find my post on my Facebook group, you can go do that and watch it. But this is the gum guard. That This is the gum guard. I know another creator made a video comparing this, this gum guard to cushion grip and this is nothing to do with cushion grip. It's nothing like cushion grip. Cushion grip is the little balls that you can put in your denture to make your denture fit better. Or not the little balls, but you can roll it however you need to and put it in your denture and it holds your denture. A lot of you really, really like cushion grip. This compared to cushion grip, there is no comparison. This is a mouth guard. Cushion grip is not a mouth guard. So, um, okay, I cleared that one. So anyway, I, I've cut ties with the company and I've removed all of my videos. And it has to do with how I was treated, how some of you have been treated, and just, just personal reasons. There's personal reasons why I cut ties with Gum Guard, along with it doesn't work for me anymore. And, and I expressed that to them months ago or weeks ago, a while ago. I expressed that to them a while ago that it doesn't work for me anymore. I need a sturdier one. And I'm finding that a lot of you are feeling the same way. And they expressed back to me that they already make the sturdy one. And okay, all right. So if you want to try the gum guard, you're more than welcome to try it. Google on the Google gumguard.com and you can try gum guard. Look it up if you're interested in something like this. But anyway, all right. Now on to this putty. I'm going to be using my immediate dentures with this because these are my newer denture box dentures and these fit me quite well and the putty isn't going to make any sense if I put it in here because it's just not going to because they fit me. My immediate dentures are bigger and bulkier and it'll work in there. So here's what, here's what we do. Now this putty, when you get it, you can keep it in the refrigerator. I've heard one year, I've heard two years, I've heard forever, you know. It comes with this lid. There's a, there's actually a lid on here. You can put the lid right back on it and you don't have to use all this putty. Lid, open, okay, come on, there we go. It comes with the lid. What I would do and how I'm storing it is in a baggie in my refrigerator just to keep it more airtight or you can store it talk today you can store it in a Tupperware thing you can store it in whatever you want so what we're gonna do here is take these two putties this one and this one and we're gonna mix them together you don't have to use all of it you can use half and half but you want to get about the same amount so if you take half of this you kind of want to get half of this also and just mix them together just to see and just play with it and for as much as this costs you can play with different amounts of putty I mean $20 it's $20 and if it's gonna help you it's $20 so let's let me get my immediate dentures I have them here and these are very very large on me and I also have like a crack here because I dropped this denture and I used the fix it or repair it I used to repair it to fix this and I got I got it Back together pretty good um, if you break your denture and you're interested in using the repair it works so we're gonna get things set up here I'm gonna bring you down and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mix this putty right now I'm gonna mix all of the putty together just so you have an idea of how much putty there's going to be whether you can use half and you can kind of judge it by me mixing all of this putty together what you need to do to make this putty work is mix them both together because they activate each other. I don't know how that does that. I don't I'm not a chemist, but mixing this and this together, you want to form it into one color. This is a heck of a lot of putty. Look, look at this. So you have, I want to say 30 seconds, 45 seconds of mixing time. 
So, and what we want to do, what we're doing, is we're trying to lengthen the flanges of your bottom denture. That is the sides of the denture. And I'll show you after I get this putty all done here. You can see it's turning one color. But once you lengthen those flanges, it's helping people be able to eat better. You know, and you can, if, if, oh, hold on a minute. This is getting, okay. So what we want to do is roll this in a lot. But look how much putty this is. This is way too much putty for probably anyone's lower denture. So now that I've mixed it, though, it's no good. Since I've mixed it all together, if I don't use it all right away, I'm going to just have to throw it away because it's no good. You can't say you cannot save the already mixed putty. So I'm going to roll this in a log, and here's my lower denture, and I'm just going to kind of put it around here. And if anybody of you watched my denture box videos, they use the same exact putty. I found that out too. Didn't know that. <laughs> so yeah. Oh. The scratching that you hear, I'll show you what that is in a minute. We have a new puppy in our home. So anyway, this is what I have. So let us let me show you what we're going to do with this. You could see that it was really pliable for me to mix. It wasn't hard. I'm going to take this denture out. You probably need to wear the opposing denture, but my opposing denture does not fit me and it won't. So we're just going to put this in and leave it in there for about two or three minutes. Are you ready? And let it set up. That's what we want. I'm going to push down on the sides too. And I'm just going to hold it. Just hold it. And I'll be back. Okay, here is any scratching that you've been hearing is this. It's the Shih Tzu puppy. We inherited her off my daughter. Or potty training. Not fun. Okay, so here's what we have now. And if you notice, this came down, and I and, and some more came down here. You can see the putty. More came down on the inside. And all this is gonna do is make your make your flanges a little longer. You may have more come down, keep it, but if you do this, because it makes your flanges longer and your denture will stay in better. So what you wanna do with this, you can remove this from your denture very easily and it will keep its shape. Let's see, hold on, easily, you, can, you really can't, there you go. This will keep its shape to your denture. So, you can clean this with your denture cleaner. You can clean this, all of it. It, it. This is clean, this is a clean. Why am I doing this? Because a lot of the relines either have a primer that you have to put in your denture. A lot of them have terrible taste. A lot of them have chemicals in them that are just, burn they it, oh, it, it's it's just bad i'm finding the more i do denture videos the products that are out there some of the ingredients are just awful to use in your in your denture here's what i recommend doing if you have trouble keeping this thing that you made here that's going to keep its shape in here you can put some adhesive in here and i recommend either Fix it in pure or secure adhesive because those are drier adhesives. There is a difference between a wet and a dry adhesive. Those are drier adhesives. And then put some adhesive right down in there. Put this back in your denture because it'll go right back in your denture. And then put adhesive in here if you want to, if you need to. I, I can tell you on my lower denture, even this one that fits me really well, if I'm going to be eating something that is hard to eat or something, I'll put a little bit of adhesive because that's my personal choice. Do I need to? No, but I also don't want to have to pay attention to where my dentures are going. You know, I, I, I just don't want to do that. So 
this is perfect for even a soft reline. Oh, look, see how more putty came down right here? See, look, it filled in that little gap a little bit. If you're struggling with your dentures and you want to just try something, try this. And you could see that I didn't use all the putty, so you can take half, maybe half, start with half and half if you have big dentures or a quarter and a quarter. Just try to get them even and, and put the rest of the putty in your refrigerator because now that I have this mixed, it's it's solidifying, I think that's the right word. It's, it's turning into a solid. If you have any sore spots from this, take a pair of little ten, tiny pair of scissors and just cut it. Just, just cut it to what you need. Or even a Dremel, you might be able to get a Dremel in there and just Dremel some of that out. But right now, this is gonna make my lower denture fit better. And I know it's helped quite a few of you. So this is the putty. This this putty is on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link to it below. Again, I am an Amazon affiliate. So 4% about what we're gonna make on every sale. I've talked to the company. They know that we have denture wearers ordering some of this putty now and they know that I'm promoting it and they are very nice. A very, very caring, nice company. They just are, they just are. So the difference between like this and this that you get is just remarkable. It's just remarkable to me. There you go, there's my video, there's my new puppy, here's my skin cancer, I'm getting more skin cancer removed tomorrow. I had more removed right here the other day. Stay out of the tanning beds and wear sunscreen. Okay, if I would have listened to my mom back in the day, I wouldn't be going through all this. But anyway, um, I have a new video coming with Denture Box. So you can see my laptop here. I, I'm getting ready to film with Jen about my new dentures, so stay tuned for that. I have some other videos coming on some other products that my mom is helping me with she's testing them for me so that we'll have to get her opinion in here anyway so all right I hope this clears things up for everybody and again I apologize I apologize I apologize I didn't know this was just impression putty I wasn't I just didn't know I know now so anyway there you go I'll see you in my next video bye